When undertaking an activity for the first, say, uh, skill enhancement, adventureship, or getting fit, there is an overwhelming wave of emotions where the initial thrill bears the greatest hype. You're pumped up! You have the determination! And it feels like, sure, just a piece of cake. But then, that's the problem. The next day comes and it's a little tougher. You take one more step, then one more step, and then soon enough, you have to accept the fact that this journey is more challenging than what you imagined it to be. That vigor which pushed you in the beginning starts wearing out. You stop all attempts for progress because you can't figure out why you even started. Every inch gain feels like a battle. Every fitness class is torturous. Every day of work feels like pulling your hair out. The focus is lost and so is the thrill of life. The days become monotonous, tiresome, and some people do get frustrated seeing that. But this is how things are designed to be. Anytime you venture out, every time you challenge yourself and want to get out from the safe zone, you will most probably reach this wall built out of frustration. The first bout of thrill within a few days can go on up to a week. Sometimes more than that. But then that high wears off and the struggle begins. So what happens when the grind sets in? What do you do when everything feels gritty, tough, and exhausting? Most people quit, but that's not going to be you. You won't let the difficulty break you. You'll keep your long-term goal front and center. Every day, no matter how small the action, you always seem to manage to make a step. Every action, however, do you see? You would have probably asked me to write a summary. It doesn't sound like it does. It's like I have to explain for Paphos this type of work is not unusual. It turns out that people are not motivated to work. Where previously they die in Queen with Baxter, now there's an only Ghana. To achieve success, the greatest skill required is the ability to sustain attention. It is about sharpening the focus, shutting everything out, and pulling yourself into total engagement over that which you desire. When this level of focus is attained, surprise of what one can achieve will astonish them. Your mind is precisely a guided missile with its homing beacon on the target. The moment you identify the target, everything else in your mind focuses on finding the target. It's not about what activities you have performed day after day, rather it is how close you are to achieving the desired results. However, if a goal remains in focus, then the mind includes more and more details, ideas and ways which were not noticed before. Some of the weird ideas will slowly come within range that were thought always impossible. You are going to be lucky if you are out of the box type of a thinker. You are going to be very lucky if you are a determined individual whose goals are not stopped by walls. People are going to help you if you have the zeal for it. You will never convince anybody of any particular point if you truly want to stand still. However, if you are active, the way will be there to accomplish. The truth is that if you do not have what you want, that is not due to a lack of time, money, or resources. That is because you haven't committed. You haven't arrived at the place where the only option will be success. And when you destroy your ships and leave no other way than success, you will find a way to make it. Successful people don't stop at a roadblock. Instead, they forge ahead and work the problem until it works. A focus on a single thing and energy will flow in that direction, whatever it is. If you blame everything for things going wrong, such problems shall arise only in the first place. It's impossible for me. I can't do this. That's how it is. Indeed, extreme focus, support, and flexibility. But once you change your focus towards no, I won't stop. Nothing will be in your way. We have lead to a situation where many of us will carry out little or no expectation. The problems cloud our minds and make us believe there is no solution to the problem. But there is always a way out of every situation. As long as you really want it, you will get it. People as a rule disperse the energy and thereby they do not realize their potential. In order to get what you want, you have to use your time wisely. Each and every hour has to be useful. It's important the time you get up and when you sleep. What food you consume, what people are around you, and what thoughts fill your mind. Then your behavior will change and so will your life. Envision your future. Think of the periods beyond 10, 20, and even 30 years from now. Now return your gaze to the present. Own this moment. There's no need to stress out about tomorrow and there's no need to dwell on the past. The present is all there is. These days should be yours. After making the most of a single day, go on and put that same energy into another day. Fight and fight every single day and one day you will fight for the whole week and finally fight for a month or even a year. Let go of your fears because you are the determinant. Any time is the right time to show that one is great. 
Not merely coming out through the day, but owning the day. Each morning comes with its own responsibilities, and you just don't get out of bed for the sake of it. No. No, yes, there is a reason why you do it. You are determined. And there is no way on the Earth's skyline that will distract you out of your mind. Do not forget that a champion is not made when the going is smooth. It is made when everything seems impossible, then there is adversity. That's when you come up. That's when you try for more than more. Expecting more than being good. Not just going for success, you require success. Every single thing that prevents you from reaching your goal only serves to see how much you would actually want this. And you, do not inch away from it. You realize it. You go on when people quit. You try harder when everyone else cannot be bothered. Since this is precisely the case, when everyone else's dust is clear, you will be the last one remaining. You will be the only one left standing because you were able to withstand the pain and keep going. You made adversity your wisdom. Are you getting it? Speed is of the essence. Speed is crucial. Dominate today. If you can do that, nothing will be out of your reach. For whatever one wants, it can be obtained only if one is ready to apply one's attention and effort. It is not easy, but it is possible.